on the coast. What are you doing here? What's burning? I'm making eggs. Oh my god. Okay. okay. There's a lot of research out there that shows people with kids are less happy than people without kids. With kids, the hardest part of driving anywhere is leaving the damn house. Come on, we got a long drive ahead of us. I'm gonna stick you in the trunk. Yay, that's your eyes. No, 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 daddy's joking, baby. No one ever, ever, ever goes in the trunk. I'm not going, dad. If you think spending a day in the car with our children is gonna change my mind. Dad, they threw up again. Again? She threw up before, but you guys were talking. I think it might make you regret the first two. Cool. Wow, you got a big family in the back there. I do. Yes. <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm nice doing sunny good. day out here in Hamilton, Ontario. Oh, well, well, welcome to America. I'm here in sunny Las Vegas. <laughs> wow. Thank you very much. So dry the heat over there. Love that. Oh, yeah. Born and raised. And uh, we're going to have triple digits already coming this weekend. So it's already Whoa. hot. Yeah, we got a major drought going on. So, but it's weird uh, being somewhere so hot and yet incapable of sweating. I <laughs> my, my body finds that very confusing. <laughs> well, you get used to it. So, well, Ennis, thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, I would imagine so. Born, born, born and raised. Absolutely. Well, thank you for joining me yeah. today. Talk about uh, children and everything. You know, tell me about uh, tell me about your your role in the show. Oh, I play a guy who doesn't have kids. <laughs> I uh, can identify. Very satisfying for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, I play the childless best friend of uh, our uh, lead dad, James. Uh, we work together. He's kind of fallen upwards his whole life. And uh, yeah, could not imagine a life with kids. He likes his disposable income and his uh, open schedule with which he can date and play on a dodgeball league and do all kinds of things that um, childless adults can do. <laughs> Well, I love yeah. how the show asks at the very top of the series, are childless people more happy? And mm -hmm. so, you know, it's funny because, you know, when I was in my 20s, all my best friends from high school and college started getting married and they started having children. And yeah. I was invited to all the functions. I And they, all they did was talk about the babies or their children. And then eventually mm -hmm. I just stopped going because it was a wholly different world for me. So I'm an uncle five times over. I don't have any kids. And uh, watching this show, sometimes I think, I'm missing out on something as I get older, but then I think I love being a bachelor. I mean, that sounds like plenty. You're an uncle five times over. That's enough time with kids. And what's great is at the end of that, you could put them down and then go home. I don't think it's unreasonable. You know, I know, but I, I think that's uh, that's plenty of children to be having in your life. You, you, you do what you want. With you. That's the thing. It's funny because a lot of people who have kids are like, you're going to have kids at some point. Right. And it's, you know, it's a, uh, uh, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be socially appropriate if I was like, hey, you're going to give those kids up at some point, right? You know, so um, I think uh, I think either way is totally fine, and that's what the show presents. Is uh, Ennis, my my uh, namesake, Ennis, is uh, shown as somebody who whose life doesn't seem to be found wanting for missing kids, and I think the show does a good job of showing that like it's not one way or the other. Obviously, it focuses on parenting as the uh, as the premise of the show, and created by parents, and it's so on and so forth, but um yeah it's not saying one way is better than the other which i think is part of the fun which I've, i love about your character he's always trying to get james's attention he's striving for his attention as well away from yeah. his family always trying yeah. to get him to say oh don't ask your wife he's always trying to get him in trouble i mean just like a single guy yeah i mean you know that, that's something that has these friendships evolve and they grow and sometimes you have trouble uh staying friends with somebody because you you don't have that relating point anymore you know and, and listen i understand a lot of my friends have kids a lot of my friends had kids during COVID, which uh, I mean, I started I, I started playing a lot more video games and online poker. They got they, they got pregnant, um, so different strokes. But um, uh, you, you might find you have a lack of uh, you don't relate to each other as much. I think this friendship between James and Ennis is trying to trying to keep it strong. It's fun to also play. So I would never in real life be like, don't don't call me Uncle Ennis. I hate that to a kid. You know what I mean? It's so harsh. But it's fun to play this guy who's very comfortably, and there's stuff under the surface to this character too, but he's not necessarily aware of it. And it's kind of fine like that. Not every, not every character on TV has to be like fully self-aware and self-actualized and know why what they're behaving the way they are. You know, he just knows he likes having free time and money and doesn't want to, any little kids to call him uncle. Well, I, I love about your character. He's, I think he still thinks as James as single. Because he does things, you know, like taking his reservation from the restaurant and things like that. And he doesn't seem faced by it. He's like, you know, because if a friend did that, they just like brush it off. But 
when you're with your wife on a night out, it's a big deal to get away from the children. Yeah, the big deal. When, when people have kids, you got to really, you really got to consider the kids and how much effort it takes to, to make plans and find a sitter and the whole thing. It's a world, I tell you, it doesn't sound, I looked at the brochure for parenting. It's not really for me. I don't think that's a trip I want to take. It's very stressful. And this is exciting that it's going to be streaming on the Roku channel. And also, I understand there's a so second exciting. season. Oh, I can't wait. And also a second season, right? Yes, we're shooting it right now. We are shooting it presently in, in, in Ontario, uh, parts north of Toronto right now. We're in Hamilton for all the Hamiltonians <laughs> that might be watching this right now. Uh, yeah, shooting the second season, twice the episodes. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. And uh, I love the show. Did and we lose I, each other? Uh, just for a okay. second. We're good. But uh, thanks for joining me today. And uh, I think I, we're doing great. I can't wait to see the second season, too. Thank you, sir. Take care. And there won't be any sort of lags or delays on the show like there are during the. No worries. <laughs> great to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Take care.